The University of New Mexico also referred to as UNM is a public research university in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Founded in 1889, UNM offers bachelor's, master's, doctoral, and professional degree programs in a wide variety of fields. Its Albuquerque campus encompasses over 600 acres (2.4 square kilometers), and there are branch campuses in Gallup, Los Alamos, Rio Rancho, Taos, and Las Lunas. UNM is categorized as an R1 doctoral university, highest research activity in the Carnegie Classification of Institutions of Higher Education. Topic: History. Topic. Founding The University of New Mexico was founded on February 28, 1889, with the passage of House Bill No. 186 by the Legislative Assembly of the Territory of New Mexico, stipulating that said institution is hereby located at or near the town of Albuquerque, in the county of Bernalillo within two miles north of Railroad Avenue in said town, upon a tract of good high and dry land, of not less than twenty acres suitable for the purposes of such institution," and that it would be the state university when New Mexico became a state. Bernard Shandon Rohde, a judge of the Territory of New Mexico, pushed for Albuquerque as the location of the university and was one of the authors of the statute that created UNM, earning him the title of Father of the University. Two years later, Elias S. Stover became the first president of the university and the following year the university's first building, Hodgin Hall, opened. Topic. Early growth The third president of UNM, William G. Tite, who served from 1901–09, introduced many programs for students and faculty, including the first fraternity and sorority. Tite introduced the Pueblo Revival architecture for which the campus has become known. During Tite's term, the first Pueblo Revival-style building on campus, the Estufa, was constructed, and the Victorian-style Hajin Hall was plastered over to create a monument to Pueblo Indian culture. However, Tite was vilified for his primitivism and was removed from office for political reasons, though history would vindicate him as the Pueblo Revival style became the dominant architectural style on campus. Under David Ross Boyd, the university's fifth president, the campus was enlarged from 20 to 300 acres square kilometers and a 200,000-acre federal land grant was made to the university. In 1922, the university was accredited by the North Central Association of Colleges and Schools. During this time, more facilities were constructed for the university, but it was under the tenure of James F. Zimmerman, the university's seventh president, that the university underwent its first major expansion. Under Zimmerman, many new buildings were constructed, student enrollment increased, new departments were added, and greater support was generated for scientific research. Among the new buildings constructed were Zimmerman Library, Scholes Hall, the first student union building now the Anthropology Complex, the university's first gymnasium and its first stadium. John Ga Meem, a famed Santa Fe architect, was contracted to design many of the buildings constructed during this period, and is credited with imbuing the campus with its distinctive Pueblo Revival style. Topic. World War II and beyond During World War II, University of New Mexico was one of 131 colleges and universities nationally that took part in the V-12 Navy College Training Program which offered students a path to a Navy commission. In 1945, the university hired John Philip Wernett to be its eighth president. Upon arrival, Wernett focused on improving the university's faculty, programs, and services. He instituted an 18-point program of procedures for the selection of new faculty and appointed a committee to ensure better teaching candidates for faculty members. He also developed a program for faculty advancement. Offices of the General Placement Bureau, Veterans Assistance, and Testing and Counseling Services were formed to assist students and Wernet required all seniors in 1946 to take the Graduate Record Examinations Test to provide the school with a measurement of how well it was educating its students. The university started the law school and the School of Business Administration during his tenure. In 1947 Wernett came into conflict with the Board of Regents over the hiring of two faculty members who he thought were unqualified. 
His contract was not renewed by the Board of Regents in 1948. Thomas L. Popejoy, the ninth and the first native New Mexican University president, was appointed in 1948 and oversaw the university through the next 20 years, a period of major growth for the university. During this time, enrollment jumped from nearly 5,000 to more than 14,000. New programs such as medicine, nursing, dental, and law were founded, and new facilities such as Mesa Vista Hall, Mitchell Hall, Johnson Gymnasium, new dormitories, the current Student Union Building, the College of Education Complex, the Business Center, the Engineering Complex, the Fine Arts Center, the Student Health Center, University Stadium, University Arena, now officially known by its nickname of the Pit, and the first facilities on North Campus were constructed. This period also saw the foundation of UNM's branch facilities in Los Alamos and Gallup and the acquisition of the D.H. Lawrence Ranch north of Taos. During the early 1970s, a series of protests were held at the university and some of them turned violent. On May 5, 1970, a protest over the Vietnam War and the Kent State Massacre occupied the Student Union Building. The National Guard was ordered to sweep the building and arrest those inside. Eleven students and journalists were bayoneted when those outside did not hear the order to disperse given inside. On May 10, 1972, a peaceful sit in protest near Kirtland Air Force Base led to the arrest of 35 people and was pushed back to UNM, leading to eight more arrests. The following day, tear gas was used against hundreds of demonstrators on campus and the situation continued to deteriorate, leading to the university to declare a state of emergency. New programs and schools were created in the 1970s and the university gained control over the hospital on North Campus. New facilities for the medical and law schools were constructed on North Campus and new main campus buildings were constructed on the site of the now demolished Zimmerman Field and Stadium, including Ortega Hall, Woodward Hall, the Humanities Building, and the Art Building. The campus also underwent a new landscaping plan, which included the construction of the Duck Pond west of Zimmerman Library and the conversion of many streets to pedestrian malls in order to make a more pedestrian-friendly campus. At the end of the decade, the university was implicated in a recruiting scandal dubbed Lobo Gate by the press. An FBI wiretap on the phone of a prominent Lobo booster recorded a conversation in which basketball head coach Norm Ellenberger arranged with assistant coach Manny Goldstein to transfer bogus credits from a California junior college to the office of the UNM registrar. Subsequent investigation turned up a manufactured college seal from Mercer County Community College in New Jersey, along with blank transcripts and records of previous forgery. Further investigation uncovered alleged incentives like cars and apartments doled out to prime players and exposed a vast network of sports gambling. The scandal forced Ellenberger to resign and defined the term of William E. Davis, UNM's 11th president. Topic. Recent history The university has continued to grow, with expanding enrollment and new facilities. In the 1980s, dramatic expansion occurred at the Medical Center, Business School, and Engineering School. The Centennial Library was also constructed. During the 1990s, an honors college was founded, and the university completed construction of a new bookstore and Dane Smith Hall. The research park at South Campus was also expanded. By this point, the university had one of the largest student and faculty populations of Hispanics and Native Americans in the country. A study released in 1995 showed that the number of full-time Hispanic faculty at UNM was four times greater than the national average and the number of Native American teachers five times greater. The schools of law and business had some of the largest Hispanic student populations of any university in the country. In the first decade of the 2000s, major expansion began on medical facilities on North Campus. The current Visitor Center, a new engineering center, and George Pearl Hall were constructed. Renovations and expansions were undertaken on several buildings on main campus, along with the creation of a branch campus in Rio Rancho. This wave of construction is continuing at present with more projects ongoing. In 2016, UNM was the first university in the country to launch a signature school program with the Central Intelligence Agency, which enables students to interact with analysts and learn how to join the CIA once they graduate. In 2017, the campus became smoke and tobacco free, with the exception of a few designated smoking areas located near the residence halls. 
The New Mexico Department of Health assisted in the effort, paying for signs and stickers around campus as well as a PSA shown during orientation. Campus The main campus is located on 600 acres square kilometers in Albuquerque on the heights a mile east of downtown Albuquerque, and is split in three parts, central, north, and south. The central campus is situated between Central Avenue on the south, Girard Boulevard on the east, Lomas Boulevard on the north, and University Boulevard on the west, and is home to the main academic university. The North Campus, which includes the medical and law schools as well as the University of New Mexico Hospital, is located on the north side of Lomas across from the Central Campus. The South Campus is located a mile south of the Central Campus, centered around the intersection of University Boulevard and Avenida Cesar Chavez, and includes most of UNM's athletic facilities. The Central Campus is noted for its unique Pueblo Revival architectural style, with many of the buildings designed by former university architect John Ga Meem, who is credited with imbuing the campus with its distinctive southwestern feel. The Central Campus is also home to the University of New Mexico Arboretum, which contains some 320 species of woody plants. Eight university buildings are listed separately on the National Register of Historic Places, including Hodgin Hall, the university's first building, and two adjacent structures, the Art Annex and Sarah Reynolds Hall. The Estufa, one of the first Pueblo Revival-style structures in the country and the first on campus, is also on the list. Other structures on the registry are Carlisle Gymnasium, Johnson Gallery, Scholes Hall, and the University House. The central campus is home to four museums, the Maxwell Museum of Anthropology in the Anthropology Building, the Geology and Meteorite Museums in Northrop Hall, the Southwest Biology Museum in the Saria Building, and the University Art Museum in the Center for the Arts. In an effort to promote sustainability and lessen the environmental impact of the campus, UNM has been reducing the campus energy usage through monitoring and retrofitting cooling, heating, water, and lighting technologies. Due to these efforts, the University of New Mexico's grade on the College Sustainability Report Card 2009 improved from A C to A B according to the Sustainable Endowments Institute. Since 2008, following an executive order that all new state buildings over 15,000 square feet (1,400 square meters) need to meet LEED Silver at minimum, all new construction on campus has been registered for LEED status. So far, an expansion of Casteter Hall and the Technology and Education Center are the only LEED certified buildings on campus, with a gold and platinum rating respectively. Several other buildings are currently registered for LEED status. Topic libraries The primary UNM library units are the Health Sciences Library and Informatics Center, the Law Library, and the University Libraries, which consists of, Centennial Science and Engineering Library Center for Southwest Research Special Collections and Archives, housed in Zimmerman Library Fine Arts and Design Library Parish Memorial Business and Economics Library Zimmerman Library for Humanities and Social Sciences Departmental Libraries include, the Bunting Visual Resources Library College of Fine Arts Arts and the School of Architecture and Planning Bureau of Business and Economic Research Center for Development and Disability Information Network Library Clark Field Archives and Library Maxwell Museum and Department of Anthropology Museum of Southwestern Biology Department of Biology Native American Studies Library Women's Resource Center Library Topic Academics The University of New Mexico offers more than 215 degree and certificate programs, including 94 baccalaureate, 71 master's master's and 37 doctoral degrees, through 12 colleges and schools. The colleges are as follows. Topic rankings The academic ranking of world universities ranked UNM at 201 to 300 out of world universities and 72 to 98 out of U.S. universities in 2016, while the Center for World University Rankings CWUR ranked UNM 181st on its World University Rankings list and 78th in the United States in 2015, which is up from 185th and 82nd respectively in 2014. High Impact Universities Research Performance Index RPI ranked UNM 112th in 2011 in their top 500 universities worldwide. US News and World Report USN and WR ranked UNM at tied for 180th in the country in their 2016 ranking of best colleges. 
USN and WR in 2016 also ranked the University of New Mexico School of Medicine tied for 35th in primary care and tied for 83rd in research, with the Rural Medicine Residency Program as second best in the country and the Family Medicine Residency Program 10th. The University of New Mexico School of Law is ranked by USN and WR in 2016 as tied for 71st in the country, with the clinical law program ranked 10th nationwide, while the School of Engineering was ranked tied for 85th. Also, according to USN and WR 2016 rankings, the school has the 5th best graduate program in photography and 17th best graduate program in printmaking. Other programs ranked in the top 50 nationwide by USN and WR in 2016 include Occupational Therapy 36, Pharmacy 48, and Earth Sciences 49. .The Princeton Review listed UNM as a «Best Western College» and ranked the School of Engineering 14th out of the graduate engineering programs nationally. The University of New Mexico Model United Nations, known as World Affairs Delegation or WAD, team is one of the top-ranked teams in the country, with multiple awards at several different competitions, most notably, the Harvard World Model United Competition in Geneva, Switzerland and Puebla, Mexico. Most recently, the team won the Diplomacy Award and the Resolution Fellowship, both in Panama City, Panama. They have also competed and won awards at the St. Mary's University Model Organization of American States Conference. Topic admissions Admission to UNM is rated as selective by U.S. News & World Report. For fall 2014, UNM received 12,574 freshman applications, 5,706 were admitted 45.4%. The average GPA of the enrolled freshmen was 3.40, while the middle 50% range of SAT scores were 480-620 for critical reading and 485-620 for math. The middle 50% range of the ACT composite score was 20-25. Topic athletics UNM's NCAA Division I program FBS for football offers 16 varsity sports. The teams are known as the Lobos, who compete in the Mountain West Conference. Two human mascots, referred to as Louis Lobo and Lucy Lobo, rouse crowds at New Mexico athletic events. The official school colors are cherry and silver. The Lobos have won national championships in skiing and cross-country running. Topic rivalries UNM maintains strong athletic rivalries with New Mexico State University. The UNM and MSU rivalry is called the Rio Grande Rivalry, a competitive series based on points awarded to the winners of head-to-head -head competitions between the two universities in every sport. A rotating trophy is granted to the winning university for a period of one year, until the award presentation the following year. The rivalry is celebrated at UNM by the Red Rally, a large bonfire that takes place the Thursday before the UNM and MSU football game. Topic basketball The Lobo men's basketball team is famous for its venue, the Pit. It may be best known as the site of the 1983 NCAA Basketball Championship, in which North Carolina State University, coached by Jim Valvano, upset the University of Houston. The UNM women's basketball team has won the Mountain West Championship for four of the past five years, and have gone to the NCAA Tournament for the past six consecutive years. Topic cross country The UNM women's cross country team won the NCAA championship in 2015 and 2017. Lobo Edna Kurgut also won the individual title in 2017. Topic football The Lobo football team plays at Dreamstyle Stadium, which is located across the street from the pit. The team has been to six bowl games since 1997 after a 35 year bowl drought. Place kicker Katie Hanita made history in the 2003 Las Vegas Bowl when she became the first woman to play in a NCAA Division 1A game, attempting but missing an extra point in the Lobos's 27-13 loss to UCLA. She later attempted and made two extra points in UNM's 72-8 victory over Texas State. New Mexico also lost its 2003 and 2004 bowl games, making its record in bowl games 2-8-1. The football team went to the first year of the New Mexico Bowl in 2006 and lost to San Jose State University 20-12. In 2007 the Lobos finished the regular season 8-4 and were invited to the New Mexico Bowl for the second straight season. The Lobos shut out the favored Nevada Wolf Pack 23-0 to win their first bowl game since the 1961 Aviation Bowl. 
Topic skiing New Mexico won the national title for Division I skiing in 2004, defeating then number one ranked University of Denver. In 2017, the team was eliminated and then reinstated. Topic soccer The men's soccer team was national runner-up in Division I soccer losing in extra time to the University of Maryland in 2005 as the No. 2 seed, the highest ranking for a UNM soccer team in school history. Topic. Student life The main university campus is located in the lower heights of Albuquerque just east of downtown Albuquerque, and is the focal point for the neighborhoods surrounding it. The neighborhoods to the immediate south and west are home to a large population of students. However, the vast majority of UNM's student population live off campus around the Albuquerque metropolitan area, with only just over 2,000 living in on campus housing. The Student Union Building sub is a major activity center for students on campus, with a food court, a movie theater, event facilities, student government and organization offices, student services, and recreation areas. Another major hot spot for students is the popular Frontier Restaurant, a late-night eatery located across Central Avenue from Main Campus and a popular meeting spot for students. The Duck Pond is a popular relaxation spot for students and local residents, particularly in the warmer months. Topic. Student organizations There are over 400 student-run organizations on campus, which include academic, athletic, ethnic, honorary, political, religious, and service groups, as well as fraternities and sororities. Topic. Student government Topic. ASUNM The Associated Students of the University of New Mexico ASUNM, is the undergraduate student government of UNM, with an elected student body president, vice president, student court, and 20 senators. Senators are elected to two semester terms. There are two elections each school year, in each, 10 senators are elected. Many candidates run in slates. There are different agencies within ASUNM, such as Lobo Spirit and Community Experience. Topic. GPSA The Graduate and Professional Student Association GPSA is the graduate student government of UNM, led by an elected president and a representative council from the different schools of study on campus since 1969. Topic. Greek life The University of New Mexico is home to several fraternities and sororities, around 5% of the UNM student body is involved in Greek life. Traditions The Hanging of the Greens is a celebration held in early December for the holiday season, when the campus is decorated with thousands of ferrolitos and a procession of carolers winds through the campus to the University House, which is open for visitors and where cocoa and biscochitos are served. Homecoming Week is held each fall to welcome back alumni. Over the course of the week, the student body elects a homecoming king and queen and six attendants three male and three female to serve as the homecoming court. Lobo Day is a celebration for the founding date of the university on February 28, 1889. The tradition in recent years has included a large group photo of students taken in the Student Union building, which is posted on a wall in the building. Red Rally is a large bonfire and rally held on the Thursday before the football match with UNM's rival New Mexico State University. During Red Rally, a large effigy of an Aggie, the mascot of NMSU, is burned to the ground. UNM fiestas are an end-of-the-year celebration held in the spring which includes a community service event called Spring Storm and a large concert. Welcome Back Days are held during the first week of the school year and welcomes new and returning students to the university, and includes free food, entertainment, and information on the university's programs and organizations. Topic. Media UNM owns and operates KUNM-FM, one of two national public radio stations in Albuquerque. In 2008, KUNM-FM won 16 Associated Press Awards, including Station of the Year. 
UNM also owns and operates the University of New Mexico Press, its publishing arm established in 1929. With Albuquerque Public Schools, UNM also operates New Mexico PBS, Albuquerque's public television station which currently broadcasts in high-definition digital on two channels, English and Spanish. The Daily Lobo is UNM's student-run daily newspaper and is an award-winning publication serving the metro area. Topic: People. Topic: Alumni. Topic: Faculty. Topic: Presidents. Topic: References. Topic: Further reading. Belmore, Audra. The University of New Mexico's Zimmerman Library, a New Deal landmark articulates the ideals of the PWA. New Mexico Historical Review 88 Spring 2013, 123–63. External links Official website UNM Athletics website New Mexico, University of New International Encyclopedia, 1905